All right, today we're going to talk about how to change the handle on a Tahatsu 30D. Step one is remove the top cowl, latch on the back, pops up, undone, cowling comes off. Okay, step two, we're going to remove the two 10 millimeter bolts that hold this uh, cover piece on. Now it's a lot easier to work on the inside, throttle cables and such. Step three, we're going to remove this rubber grommet that holds the throttle cable and some electrical connections. Okay, the, th the rubber grommet piece, I threaded out the throttle cable and the electrical connection just slides out of that. Uh, step four, we have to pop this rubber cover off. It's got three different places where it's it unclips basically. It just pulls up from the engine to reveal the throttle wires and cables from the handle that we will have to disconnect. Right. So I've unclipped that and then it just slides back and off. And then it reveals this piece. Step five, have to carefully disconnect the wires that are coming from the handle. So there's this uh, one big connector and then um, I believe that's all we have to do to get the electrical disconnected. So to disconnect this piece, you're going to push in gently on the sides and then grab the connector with both one on each side, one on this side and one on this side, and then pull it apart. Okay, so that's apart. The next step will be to disconnect the throttle wires from the engine. To do this, we're going to disconnect, we're going to take this bolt out. Have to be really careful that when we take this bolt out, you don't lose any pieces that fall into the engine. There's a washer and different things behind this black swivel piece. We we'll also have to use a 10 millimeter open end wrench and loosen these nuts off enough that the throttle wires will pull out from the, uh, the bracket there. Okay, so I've undone the bolt and you can see the one washer on the back side. You want to make sure you don't lose that. And then you're going to have to gently disconnect this ball socket that connects the throttle to the throttle cable mechanism. So when I take these, the ball socket join off, I've had a lot of luck with just gently put a open end in there and just pop it off. And then it's free. So. That's how that works. Okay, when you loosen up these bolts that are attached to the bracket, if you just loosen the one furthest away from the handle, just a little bit with the 10 millimeter wrench, just like a turn, then that will come loose. And then same thing, I've already loosened this one a little bit, that comes loose. You wanna keep this the way it is so you know which throttle cable goes to which side of the connector. The next step is to disconnect the shift handle from the rest of the handle. So I believe we're just going to take off this 10 millimeter bolt right here and then the 
the handle piece will be separate from the steering handle. Uh, I put tape around the bolt. There's a washer on the back. It's really easy for it to fall off. So you wanna keep the, the bolt and the washers all together. And now this is disconnected. That's the shift cable that, that makes the motor shift into forward, neutral, or reverse. This piece just slides on the cable when we put the new one back on. And the last step is to remove these two bolts. They are 14 millimeter, two of them, and the whole handle will come off. Those bolts are loosened, and now the whole thing comes off in one big piece. It's actually pretty sweet on this motor. Everything comes off in big chunks. Okay, so now we're going to put the handle back on. If it was the new one, it would have this power tilt connector right there, that one with the yellow inside it, that won't connect to anything on the motor, but everything else should work fine. And it's got this up down on the side of the handle that this motor doesn't have power tilt. So our motor handle, we'll put back on. The first step is to connect the two 14 millimeter bolts back on to the main engine. All right, those can be pretty firm. If you're using a quarter inch ratchet, you can get them pretty tight. If you're using a bigger ratchet, you want them tight and firm. Next, next we're going to hook the shift handle back onto the shift upper shift rod. So you can see that's just gonna fit in there and go like that. And then I've got to take the tape off and screw the 10 millimeter bolt back into the housing. Okay, got that in place, tighten the bolt. The next step is to hook the throttle cable wires back up to their housing and rehook up the electrical connector. All right, I put the ball joint back on, put this back into the housing, and using two 10 millimeter open end wrenches, tightened the throttle wire nuts back onto the bracket. You don't wanna over tighten them or you'll strip the throttle cables. So I used two 10 millimeters, and put them back together. Could use a wrench if you only had one 10 millimeter, but gentle, but firm. All right, let's hook the throttle wire back up. Thread that back. I think underneath the bracket is how it's supposed to go. And then we'll uh, thread it back into the place and put the connector back together. Right. Connected that back together, it snaps in. You have to be really gentle with any wiring connections, wiring harnesses. They are super important. Okay, when we put this cover back on, we wanna put this slit in the cover over the wires that are leaving the connection and going to the ECM on the motor. So that's how they fit. And then you wanna tuck in the wires gently and neatly underneath it, and then clamp the three pieces down. All right. The cover's back on. You can see the wires coming up through, going over to the ECM over here. It looks pretty neat. 
Um, we're ready for the next step to put the rubber grommet back over the wires and the throttle cables. You can see they have lots of holes in them. And on one side, there is some different, um, like it shows, it says tiller, that's for the throttle cables and then the battery goes underneath and you can see the words you want it to fit into the motor upright there's only one way it can go in okay so i've put those uh wires back in you can see the lettering's upright it's got like a ridge along the outside of it that fits in this ridge in the the lower cowling here so i'm going to just slide it back and then it goes into that ridge. You know it's right because, like I say, you can read the words. If they're upside down, it's upside down. All right, last step is to put the cover back over the grommet and the lower cowl. So just wanna carefully put it in. It's kind of a little tricky, but if you hit the right place, it, it goes in really smooth. When you tighten the the 10 millimeter bolts, don't tighten them if you sense they're stripping at all. Be extra careful with that as well. Surprisingly tricky to get this piece back on this cover, but if you match up this with the, the rail there, I call it, and then push it down, then it matches up and then the bolts screw in. And there we go, the handle's back on seems to be working right and we change the handle